battle is heating up in Delaware County. There is a fierce debate over what to do with hundreds of acres of prime real estate. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden shows you what's at stake. Delaware County officials Thursday morning announced the acquisition of the Little Flower Manor property. 37 acres bought with grants that will soon become a county park. County Council will continue to look for ways to preserve open space in our county. Just up the road, a much higher profile battle is unfolding over land in Marple Township. This township and Delaware County has to look at the big picture. We don't need another shopping center. The former Don Guinella property was set to become the site of several hundred new homes, a Wegman store and other businesses. Traffic and pollution dominated the debate. Delaware County leaders have been repeatedly asked by opponents of the project to wade into the issue and protect the massive piece of land. We took that question to County Councilman John McBlain. Right now, as far as I know, that the property is under agreement of sale. Um, it's working its way through the land development process. Uh, Marple has zoning laws that are intact. Because of those zoning laws, the development has suffered some setbacks. Folks with Save Marple Green Space take credit for shifting public opinion, convincing Marple Township leaders to reject parts of the deal. But a $47 million sale between a developer and the archdiocese is still on. Some in Marple are hoping the same outcome in Darby Township with Little Flower can happen here along Sprawl Road. Right there, you're looking at 213 acres that's looking them in the face. That could be a community park. Earlier this week, I spoke to Marple Township's manager. He told me the ideal situation would likely be to leave this property undeveloped. Now, today I spoke to the property developer, Bruce Goodman. He would not comment if they are actually moving this deal forward. However, the Archdiocese said they were set to close the deal by end of today. In Marple Township, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.